RV travel isn't just for warm weather, because there's plenty of fun to be had in the snow. But the trick is knowing how to stay warm. So I'm going to share my tips and tricks on how to prepare the inside of your RV for a winter adventure. Come on, Zinga. Go get the snowball. Before we get started, if you haven't already watched Jason's video on how to prepare the outside of the RV for a winter adventure, click on that here. Good, you're all caught up. Now, my number one priority when winter camping is staying warm. So I use an electric heater to warm the RV instead of running the propane furnace. I do that because the propane creates a lot of humidity and humidity in an RV in the winter is definitely your enemy. And nobody likes frozen cabinets, walls, and windows. So I keep the propane furnace set at 45 degrees kind of my fail safe just in case my electric heaters fail for some reason my propane will still kick on and I won't be any colder than 45 degrees. We cook with a griddle and an induction plate to help save on propane and cut down on humidity. Running the propane furnace, cooking with propane, even breathing all creates humidity and if that moisture starts to become a problem you may need to crack a vent to let it escape. So it's a good idea to keep like a damp rid or dry Z air on board just to help kind of capture some of that extra humidity. So we have this nifty little thermometer which helps us see what the temperature is outside in the wet bay, what the temperature is inside here, and even what our humidity level is. If you're having a problem with things freezing, it's not a bad idea to open cabinets, especially ones with plumbing, to let the warm air circulate through. Taking a shower in the facilities might be a little bit of a pain, but it will lessen the number of times you have to dump and fill your tanks, and it helps keep humidity levels down in the RV. It does get chilly at night, so it's a good idea to have nice warm blankets and sheets. We have a down comforter. Warm clothes, pajamas, socks, and of course, house shoes are an absolute must because the floors get really chilly. You wanna make sure that you close all your blinds and shades before you go to bed. This helps kind of create a barrier between the inside and the outside. So the heat stays in and the cold stays out. Now, if you want to take it another step further, you can actually get a heavy fabric or blanket and adhere that to the inside of the windows, but this seems to work just fine for us. Last, but certainly not least, is a double walled press for your coffee and tea. So that way it actually stays hot. Well, that about sums it up. If I've missed anything during this video, you'll find it in the link below along with other tips and tricks on winter RV camping. Hope to see you on the slopes.